Good afternoon YouTube, my name is Brandon and welcome to the third episode of the Pile Trailer Rebuild Series. We've got a full schedule today, so stick around. So we've got a lot going on in this episode. Hopefully we can start getting the rest of the hitch off. I want to get a lot of the cross members on, cut off a couple of the old cross members, and start getting this thing back together. And I'll also talk to you about how to square up the trailer and how to square your axles. Let me bring you in and show you what's going on. I want to put this cross member on today that goes here to there. This cross member right here, we're going to cut that off and replace that with a new one. This cross member will actually be cut off as well and a new hitch is going to go on and if we have time hopefully we can start in on putting our sides together and I'm also going to talk to you about squaring the trailer and how to go about that so we got a busy day let's get going All right, so if this was a brand new trailer or something we was building right from scratch what I would do is I would build the perimeter of it on the ground on the floor on a fairly level surface I would put this on I would tack this I'd tack that piece to there, and then I would tack the piece across the back. So they basically you have a square box, and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure diagonal from there to there, to that corner, and then from that corner to that corner there. Those diagonal measurements need to be the exact same. Once they're the exact same, then you can add a little bit more weld. I wouldn't completely weld them yet, though. Then what I would do is raise that square frame up and set them on jack stands just like I have right here because I don't like working on the floor I like to work at a comfortable level so once you have it squared put it up on some stands so you can work on it and work around it and underneath if you need to uh, so what I'm gonna do now but whereas we already have this cross member here holding it square and the other ones that are that are there I'm gonna weld on I'm gonna cut this piece here and weld that piece on the back. This looks like it was set up maybe now that it was going to dump at one time. That hitch actually pivots. Yeah, see that? Watch this. Alright guys, we've had a slight change of plans. Let me bring you in and show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, I've welded the hitch on. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has a little kink in that. So, we need to keep this build within budget, okay? When I first started this, you remember me saying that it would probably be easier and cheaper for me to build a new one? Well, it probably would be. And if I keep going down this road where I'm replacing everything, uh, I could have built a new trailer and that's what we're trying to avoid we're trying to do this on a budget okay so what I'm gonna do is is I've welded the hitch right along here and I've welded a cross member along the back that's two by two by three sixteenths okay that tube is just floating there right now the hitch tube right there it's just it's just setting there it hasn't been welded there uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here with a diagonal brace from here to there to there and I'm going to do the same thing on this side so that's going to triangulate this hitch and it's going to prevent it from going left or right okay does that make sense it's going to go from here to there and from there to there okay once that's all welded together at the front of the trailer you can see that little 
that little sway, that little bend occurs from here to here. So what I'll do is, is I will put some pressure from here, pushing that way a little bit. It's out about a half an inch. I need to move this tube about a half an inch that way before I can weld it. And then that will make this hitch perfectly straight. Um, but as of right now, this from right here to that corner right there and from here to that corner right there is perfectly level. Uh, it's, per it's the same exact measurement between the two and I need to keep it that way. So to keep this measurement perfect, I need to put those braces. If I don't put those braces there and I just start pushing here, pushing this way is going to cause this to go that way and I and I don't want that to happen so um, this is a excellent way of doing it it won't compromise the integrity of it and it's gonna solve the issue that we have right now without actually going out and buying a new 2 by 3 piece of tubing and look at all the stuff we've cut out of this trailer so far this piece right here is really heavy that's probably that's probably oh I don't know 40 pounds you remember that? That's the piece, um, that cross member that attached the back part of the hitch. And what I've done is I just cut that off. Just made it a little bit shorter, which makes the hitch just overall a little bit shorter, but that's fine. It's only shorter by, you know, a foot, and that's not going to be a problem. So this is where the angle finder comes in handy as far as making this angle to duplicate that on the other side. So what you do is, and I've explained this in another video, slide this on here, match up your angle, snug down that set screw, and now you have now you have this angle right here that you can transfer onto your new piece. So, and we're gonna do the same thing at the other end. So let me transfer this onto that, and then we'll go down to the other side and we'll measure that out. So this is where we're at guys, we're starting off with a clean slate, I've got the axle off, I've ground off all the bushings, all the tabs, all the brackets, I've got this side welded on for the angle brace, I've got the back welded on here, and I've started cutting the side metal. And I'll tell you what, I'm sure glad that I did actually cut the axle off. I uh, took the axle off it because the springs were shot. Let me bring you over and show it to you. All right, for all you car guys out there, these backing plates and brakes were actually on that axle. And the reason I think it's a car is because it has emergency brake cables, or it had emergency brake cable provisions on the backing plates. And these are the springs, completely junked out. That one is completely missing the bushing, and that bushing's pretty shot. But let me bring you in to the axle. So it's a four hub, it's a four lug axle, super narrow. And you can see it's almost uh, like a drop, a drop type axle. So I, I don't really know. You can see uh, I put a 
D for driver side and a P for passenger side just to orient it when I put it back together. And the tube measures, this part here measures two and three eighths of an inch, if that helps. So if you guys know what this fits or what this might have came on, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just curious. I'd just kind of like to know. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you know what that axle is, please leave me a comment and let me know. It's been a long day. I'm super hungry. I got the grill fired up in the back, and I'm going to have some pizzas on the grill with some jalapenos. Take care, guys.